up you guys it's Judy here with my life as geek guy on this channel I create videos on product reviews makeup tutorials and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain educate and enrich the lives of others so if you're new here please consider subscribing I would love to have you join my geek guy family Today's video somewhat falls under the category of lifestyle. Again, in this setting, we're having another chatty video. It's not quite like my last one when I was sitting here on the bed talking about my homeschool experience. Today's video is simply going to be me telling you everything that I have been thankful for in this year of 2018. I know Thanksgiving has passed, but it's never too late to count your blessings. It's never too late to remember things that you are thankful for and to put it out in the universe. That's what today's video is going to be. This video of me talking about things that I'm thankful for was actually inspired by Kiki Williams. Kiki is a brand new YouTuber and one of her videos that she recently shared was how to stop overthinking which then causes anxiety and it can cause stress in your life. And her one killer step on how to stop overthinking was to remember the things that you are thankful for. And so that's what inspired me to make this video. It's not quite makeup and it's not even a review, but I did want to put it out to the universe the things that I have been thankful for this year in 2018. Before I go any further, subscribe and let's talk about this really super extra makeup look that I have going on right now. I literally just filmed this look. This is my ballroom dancing competition makeup tutorial look. And let's just get into this video. <laughs> Lately when I've been feeling like life has been spiraling out of control and it's causing me anxiety to not know the future, like I have always known what I've wanted but sometimes in marriage, a uh, spanner is thrown in the works and sometimes in marriage you need to come to some compromises. And compromise for me isn't always an easy thing. <laughs> Being in control is one of my strong points. <laughs> so when something is taken out of my control, sometimes I tend to freak out, I get anxiety, and I don't handle it very well. But one of my ways of grounding myself and to remind myself that everything is going to be fine, everything is going to fall into place, there's no point freaking out about things that haven't even happened yet. That way is to remember to tell yourself or tell the world, as I am doing right now, the things that I'm thankful for. This video was made probably just as much for my own mental health as it is in the hopes of being able to inspire, encourage, and motivate those of you watching. So yeah, <laughs> here's a list of 10 things that I'm thankful for this year. Number one, in October this year, my husband and I made it to our first wedding anniversary. I know that might not seem like much to you. There are people out there who have been married for 50, 60 years and they have been going strong. And here I am celebrating my first wedding anniversary. Well, it is a milestone. And the number one thing that marriage has taught me is love. Now I know love is meant to be there before you even decide to get married, but love in the truest sense of the word. Love in the midst of trials, love in spite of faults, love in every situation. Love overrides pride, it overrides selfishness, it makes you patient, it makes you kind, it makes you gentle, and it makes you a better person. And I just want to put it out there in the universe that I'm thankful for my husband. I'm thankful for our marriage, for what it has taught me and will continue to teach me. The second thing I'm thankful for is my YouTube family. You guys, I'm so thankful for you. I never thought that there would be people who would enjoy my content as much as some of you do. I get so much encouraging and positive feedback from people on my videos and I'm like, oh, you guys. I love you guys so very much. I'm so thankful for you. And even though I only just started YouTube a few months ago, I have met so many incredible and wonderful people. Not long ago, I sat right here and said thank you for 200 subscribers. Right now at the filming of this video, I have 310 subscribers. And by the time this video actually goes up, who knows how many many I'll have by then and it just continues to grow and I'm so thankful for every single one of you who have decided to click the subscribe button and join the Geek Guy family. I'm so thankful for every single one of you. You make me a better person. You really do. Third thing I'm thankful for is my job. I just recently left a job that I'd been at for about five years and started a newish job. I sort of started that new job around about the time I started back up here on YouTube and I'm thankful for my job. With my skills and experience, it's not really difficult for me to find a job. 
but I'm thankful for the one that I've got. I know I've brought a lot of experience and knowledge to my job, but I'm still learning so many things, you guys, so many new and different things. I'm thankful for the respect and consideration that I have earned from the people that I work for and the people that I work with. Hopefully, I'll continue to grow and enjoy it and love it for many years to come. I really haven't been in any job for less than three years, so hopefully that's a good track record. <laughs> Fourth thing I'm thankful for guys are my in-laws. Just being able to say that I'm thankful for my in-laws, I recognize that I'm so incredibly blessed. I know not a lot of people are able to say with great confidence that they love their in-laws, they're blessed to have their in-laws. I love my mom and dad in-law so very, very much. I'm so thankful to them that they have been around loving Nick and I and supporting us throughout everything. They're there always encouraging us, cheering us on, telling us how much they love us, and just being there when we need support, being there when we are strong, being there in our down times. So mom and dad, if you're watching this, I really love you so much. Nick and I love you a lot. And we are very, very excited to give you grandkids. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. If I was, this is not how I would be announcing it. <laughs> But we're excited for that and we're excited to see what the future holds for us. The fifth thing I'm thankful for are my sisters. I have two older sisters. I'm thankful for every single one of my siblings, but specifically I'm thankful for my two older sisters who have given me so much support in my adult years. When we were growing up, we fought like cats, like we, we fought. All the time. My eldest sister, <laughs> I couldn't stand when she just had to give me her opinion, but now I'm asking for her opinion. I want her to be around when I start having babies. She's got two at the moment, she's pregnant with a third, and I'm so excited for her, and I want her to be around when I have my own children. My second sister, she is there always asking me how I am. She's sending me messages, encouraging me. She's got a little girl, and her daughter cheers me up so much whenever I see her. I know not everybody has a good relationship with their siblings, but I'm incredibly thankful for my two older sisters. And for my younger sister, I'm so thankful for too. I love my sisters so much. If my brothers are watching this, which you probably aren't, because my family don't watch my videos. <laughs> if my brothers are watching this, I love you too. <laughs> The sixth thing that I am very thankful for is my husband and I's debt-freeness. Is that a word? Oh well, it is now. I'm thankful for our debt-freeness. We don't owe anybody anything. We don't currently own a house, and I know having a mortgage is one of those things that is inevitable in life. When you want to have a house, you have a mortgage, because I mean, who seriously buys a house outright with cash? Not unless you are Jeffree Star or Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, Right now, at the moment, we don't have any debt. We have savings, we own our cars, we have comforts of home, I'm able to buy makeup, I'm able to do my channel, we have the resources to buy things if we need them. A lot of that has come through my frugality and just having a really thrifty mindset. My husband is quite thrifty as well, so combining us together, we have been able to make a very comfortable life for ourselves and hopefully one day we'll be able to buy a house. Number seven, this one isn't quite something solid or tangible, but number seven is moments of peace and clarity. Those moments of peace and clarity are actually quite hard to come by. We are so constantly on the go. For me, working, YouTube, editing, uploading, research, house, husband, dancing, family, this and that and the other. And there's just so many things going on in my mind that when I actually get to a point of, when I've had it up to here, those are the moments that I start to freak out and stress. So sometimes I just gotta bring myself back down. In moments like this, where I'm talking about things that I'm thankful for, you have moments of peace and clarity. I can't go super in depth into that right now because that's probably a whole nother video, but hopefully this makes sense to you guys. I'm very thankful for those moments where I have been able to calm my mind, it's priceless, it really is. Now, number eight might kind of seem random, and it's kind of thrown in with me also being thankful for my YouTube family, but there are four specific women on YouTube that I'm very, very thankful for. Two of them don't know I exist, and two of them I'm friends with on YouTube. The first two are Rob Beauty Christie and Tati Westbrook. I know Tati Westbrook is huge. 
She is a massive sensation on YouTube. But she has been so 100% honest and down to earth on her channel that I want to be like her. She doesn't talk shit about other people but she is still 100% honest and that is absolutely what I love about Tati and her channel. She is genuine and she is lovely and she is beautiful and she focuses and talks about the things that are important and she puts a lot of effort into her videos and I love her so much and I really hope that one day she knows I exist because that would be that would be the end of me. I would die. <laughs> Raw Beauty Christy is another YouTuber channel that I follow and love. Raw Beauty Christy is a smaller influencer. She has not quite yet hit 1 million. I don't know why she deserves to. Christy is, again, honest, 100%, keeps it real and down to earth on her channel. She doesn't hide her flaws. She doesn't try to be perfect, but she does her best. And she, again, she's like Tati. I love her so much. The next person I'm very, very thankful for, and this person has just hit a thousand subscribers on her channel, guys. Her name is Lintina Loom. I have mentioned her in my videos a few times. And for this woman, I am so thankful. Every time I go into her channel, she is real. She is genuine. She is 100%. And and she really truly cares about her subscribers. It feels like just when I needed that one thing for someone to say to me, that moment of weakness and someone has said something encouraging, that moment of confusion and someone has said something with clarity, that was Lintina when I watched her videos and for that I'm very very thankful. Fourth person in this category of people I'm thankful for is Sarah on Prodigy Girl Gaming. Now I have mentioned her a few times. It's actually because of Sarah that I have gained a significant amount of subscribers. When I did my GTA online video Halloween makeup tutorial, Sarah was the one who encouraged me to do that video and she promoted the crap out of that video on her channel of 18,000 subscribers and it's because of Sarah that I've been able to sort of gain a bit of momentum on my channel. She messages me on Twitter a fair bit and says, hey, here's something that you could do to improve your channel. She just really wants me to succeed. For her to express her passion and how much she actually really wants me to succeed is mind-blowing to me. So I'm extremely thankful for Sarah. <laughs> yeah, just I'm thankful for these four women in my life. The ninth thing I am thankful for is kind of obvious, but it's makeup. You guys, I am so thankful for makeup. And not in a materialistic, shallow, cover up your imperfections way. No, 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 no. I am completely comfortable in who I am. Like, I can come on camera and make this whole video without makeup and be comfortable with it if I wanted to. But I already filmed a video previous to this one. That's why I have makeup on. But what I mean to say is I'm thankful for makeup because it is something that has given me an outlet. It's something that I am able to use to express my creativity. Makeup is something that gives me joy. It actually really does. And not just because it's material stuff and I grew up not having very much and now I can buy things. Makeup just makes me happy. <laughs> it does. That's as simple as that. Makeup makes me happy. And if you can relate, give the video a thumbs up. If you can't relate, sorry. <laughs> yeah, makeup made it to my list because, I mean, I'm a beauty channel. Why would I not be thankful for makeup? <laughs> Number 10. The last thing that I'm thankful for is myself. Now that might sound weird and even just arrogant, but honestly, if you really, really think about it, the one person in charge for your happiness is you. The one person who stops you from doing anything that you wanna achieve is you. It's your fears, it's your insecurities, it's your deprecating self-talk that will raise obstacles in your life from you being able to achieve anything. Through all the hardship and the emotional, mental trauma in my life, I have become a strong person. And I'm so incredibly blessed with the personality that I do have to be able to get through each obstacle and hurdle that life throws my way and make art out of mud. Make lemonade out of lemons. I know that is so cliche. What else can I say? Make potato chips out of potatoes. <laughs> I don't know, just make beauty out of nothing. I'm thankful for the strength and the resilience and the discipline that I've been able to cultivate in my life. I'm not perfect. All of us have our moments of weakness. Remembering to ground yourself in the really wonderful things that God has blessed you with right now is a really wonderful way to ground yourself. You might not have everything that you want or need right now, 
but you have yourself and you have this strength to keep on going and to achieve everything that you want. Does that make sense? I hope so. I'm not gonna keep on rambling or this is gonna be another half an hour video. <laughs> So yeah, those are the 10 things that I am so thankful for in this year of 2018. Please, let's continue this conversation in the comments down below. Tell me one thing that you are thankful for this year. Tell me one thing that maybe you resonated with me in this video. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm thankful for you every single one of you thank you for your time and i will see you in my next video Mwah. like i love you so much is that is that a, no <laughs>